Today, I'm going to give you a really good, effective protocol for gout. And so the question that I get a lot of times with remedies is like, if it's so effective, why don't doctors recommend it? Well, because it's not medical care. There's not a lot of money in these natural remedies. You can't actually patent some of these remedies. Well, actually, uh, that's not true because I find a lot of great protocols from patents, which in this case, I'm going to put a link down below with a patent on a certain combination, but we're not using the whole combination. We're using something very specific to help with gout. So why am I doing this video? What's wrong with the current medical treatment for gout? Well, the medication that they recommend has side effects, whereas natural remedies have much less side effects, if any. And so let's just dive right in. So what is gout? Gout is a situation where you have a buildup of uric acid, and for some reason, it's building up crystals in certain places in your body. Uh, primarily, it's in the big toe, but it can be in other places as well. They've determined that almost 24% of the cases is genetic related, but even if you have a genetic propensity to get gout, there's still things you can do. We're going to use a strategy, okay? We want to use natural remedies, things that will help excrete uric acid. And we also want things that will help get rid of pain directly if there's a gout attack. Now, allopurinol, and the main medication for gout, works by inhibiting an enzyme. It's called xanthine oxidase. So this medication inhibits that enzyme. But I want to give you some natural inhibitors that have virtually no side effects. The other thing to talk about is your diet. If you look up gout, they're going to have you recommend a lot of different foods, um, especially proteins. But I found that if you eliminate sugar, especially fructose, and of course, alcohol, especially beer, you're going to be a lot more successful. And generally speaking, there's uh, two things that can be done to reduce the intensity of gout. Number one, is just drinking more water to dilute the concentration of uric acid. And number two, raising the pH of your urine. You'll have less precipitation of this uric acid forming in the joints. One more really important point I wanna mention, this protocol I'm gonna give you, um, I would recommend to do it for at least two to three weeks. Number one is called white Chinese mulberry extract. There's some great research on this and all the research, I'm just going to put links down below. Well, this remedy mulberry has a certain phytonutrient that can inhibit that enzyme that forms uric acid. The next recommendation is Chinese cinnamon. The scientific name is called cinnamomum cassia, and you can probably find this in a powder or a capsule. Chinese cinnamon has some uh, fascinating principles. It's related to other types of cinnamon but it's a little bit different. Cinnamon also has some other additional properties to help with blood sugars, okay, and insulin resistance. And so it can help you in various ways. Diabetics, for example, or people that are pre-diabetic or have insulin resistance have a much greater risk of getting gout than people that don't. And the third would be omega-3 fatty acids. And yes, you can use fish oils. Uh, I recommend cod liver oil because it adds two additional things, vitamin A and vitamin D. And vitamin A is good for your kidneys. And vitamin D is also good as a natural anti-inflammatory. But there's some interesting research that shows that when you take omega-3 in, in sufficient quantities, it can act as an anti-inflammatory, but it can also inhibit the enzyme that forms uric acid. All right, so the next remedy, and this is specifically to help excrete excessive amounts of uric acid, uh, I would recommend alpha-lipoic acid. Alpha-lipoic acid is also uh, beneficial for peripheral neuropathy if you're a diabetic and you have nerve pain, but it can help get rid of uric acid. And as a side note, uh, there's many theories about why people get gout. Um, I think what happens with people with gout, their kidney just has a very difficult time getting rid of uric acid. So the more you can improve excretion of this uric acid and improve kidney function, uh, you're going to have much less gout. But with gout patients, they're just reabsorbing a lot more uh, uric acid than they should. The last two remedies are mainly for gout attacks. So the first remedy is devil's claw. Another name for this would be cat's claw because the flowers look like a claw, but devil's claw 
is in one study just as effective as Vioxx, which they took off the market, but it's a very potent anti-inflammatory. And so you can take it to get rid of really any type of pain, arthritis pain, but definitely gout pain. And the last remedy is from the Brazilian rainforest. It's called Ipo Ruru. And this herb is also another potent anti-inflammatory, and it can act as a COX-2 inhibitor. So that's how aspirin works. And when someone has gout, a lot of times they're recommended aspirin or other types of um, NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. But this remedy from the Brazil rainforest can act as a natural NSAID to help decrease pain. Now, the last point I want to bring up, there's some great data on your microbes in your gut helping you break down this uric acid. And so one thing I would add to your diet to help bring up certain microbes to help you fight this would be eating certain foods that are more probiotic, like the sauerkraut, the kimchi. I would highly recommend doing that, as well as consuming enough um, good salad that's healthy that can feed the microbes because there's some additional data that when the microbes eat this fiber, they make um, something called a small chain fatty acid called butyrate, which is also great for gout. Now, before you go, to get more information on how to alkalize your urine, I created this video for you and I'll put it up right here. Check it out.